So I think we had to like turn to other sources for mentoring. Like in your case, you had to go outside of the church, right, Aaron? Yeah, yeah. So mine was, my story is kind of interesting. We had a pulpit supply preacher because our main, our senior pastor was in there. And after the, after his uh, sermon, I just went up to him. I didn't even introduce myself. I was like, hey, do you have a Bible study? (laughs) 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 That's the first thing I asked. I didn't even know his name. I just asked if he had a Bible study and kind of started from there. I started going to his house uh, every week for his Bible study. And then um, for some reason I asked him if he could mentor me. (laughs) <laughs> and he agreed. So I I started going to his house even more, you know, like weekly. Mm. Uh, besides the Bible study, it was really good. Um, really grew a lot. Um, but I think there were other people too at church, in our Filipino church, who did s- sort of reach out and tried to, uh, you know, build relationships, but not in a systematic kind of way of mentoring. You know, like not in a scheduled kind of way, like a week, week in and week out kind of mentoring. Yeah, I think yeah. at some point we do need that. And I know for sure, for me, I was looking for something like that. But I understand, uh, you know, we were like a small church. Um, a lot of our parents are really busy with their work. Yeah. And a lot of them don't feel, you know, that they are prepared for mentoring. Mm-hmm. Um, 